the arterial supply of the brain. This is the vertebral artery. Another vertebral artery from her side, what is cut. So two vertebral artery forming a basilar artery. This one is the basilar artery. This vertebral artery, the near the foramen magnum, give two branch. This one is the dorsal spinal artery, and this one is the peak, posterior, inferior cerebellar artery. At the uh, at the end or at the upper edge of the uh, medulla oblongata, between the medulla oblongata will pons, give another two branch. This one is the ek anterior inferior cerebellar artery, and this one is the labyrinthine artery, which enter via the internal acoustic meatus. Here, this is the basilar artery, which is opposite to the pons. Here, the space for the pons. This small branch laterally from this side and from this side, pontine arteries. This one is the superior cerebellar artery. So, superior cerebellar artery and two inferior cerebellar artery, one anterior and the other posterior. This larger and the last artery of the basilar artery is the posterior cerebral artery. Give communicating a branch to the internal carotid artery. This is the internal carotid artery and this is the posterior communicating artery. From this side is the uh, 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 internal carotid artery. Those branch to the meninges is the anterior meningeal artery, middle meningeal artery, which give two branch anterior and posterior. This is the posterior meningeal artery.